Well, hello there, Internet. Prol from thedevilsbench.com coming back at you today with another very quick Arma tutorial. Um, again, specifically looking at the Zeus game mode or the Zeus sandbox mode, whatever you want to call it. The awesome thing that the Arma devs gave us. Right. That's what we'll call it for today. And very quickly, just wanted to touch on some things that we do as a group at the Devil's Bench to create layers of immersion. And it touches more specifically on something that I think the Arma devs were trying to allow us to do, and that's to create, um, to create gaming moments through Zeus. Um, not necessarily just letting us play God all the time, even though that is fun to just zap guys. Uh, but to actually create games within a game and to let us flex our developer muscles or uh, at least to move the little green army guys around in our sandbox. So what I've set up here is just uh, basically this is how I would start a mission. Um, if we were just playing a real quick pickup game of Arma, I would lay some stuff out like this in the middle of this big giant military base. Um, I'd put down my own props so that in the case that I'd get my dudes to spawn here, so I moved the spawn point over there just so it's not as cluttery here. But let's say this is our player, and this is where our player is gonna spawn. Let's just drop a uh, remote control module on him really quickly. And let's get a look at what he sees. So we know that we're in the middle of this big military base, and I suppose I could have laid this out a little bit better with a little bit more stuff, but I just did it really quick. So over here, just a bunch of military looking materials and a box here filled with guns and ammo and stuff in the case that I wanted them to have a specific loadout or I wanted them to have the opportunity to change their loadout. I always usually drop that box in between pallets, boxes, and barrels, because I find it hard to believe that you would just see one box of material. I think usually it'd be part of a whole whack of crap laying around. But that said, I'm just a gamer, so what the hell do I know? I've closed this area off so that there's really only one place that we can go, and that's into the helicopter. I mean, you could walk three kilometers away or wherever you're supposed to, but if I told these guys that they were going to take a helicopter, they're going to get in this helicopter, and the helicopter is going to take them somewhere, there's really only one option for them to go. The other thing I've done here is to put some AI just to walk around in here. This is a bad example, but it just gives you an idea that if you can fill up the area with some bodies, um, and you'll see on the outside there too, there's just movement. There's stuff happening. So coming back out to the zoo sandbox mode you can see it's not a whole lot to set up but even if it just gives you a little tiny bit of immersion and that's all we're trying to do we're trying to create um, an experience for our gamers so that they're not just playing some random mission hopefully it feels more legit and it feels like they can get into it a little bit more the more they can get into it i find the more people have fun and that brings me to my second point here. We're going to take remote control of this officer. You see I've placed him behind this uh, shipping container, so ideally our players don't get too adventurous. You could place him further away if you want. In any case, this is an officer, so you could have the officer do the cool guy walk from around the shipping containers here and even give your players their instructions or their orders or tell them what they're trying to achieve by going to meet them as the officer. And then you can voice this officer through TeamSpeak or through direct comms, whatever you're using. And then you can tell them, you know, you've got supplies over there. You can go see those supplies. You can go do whatever you want to do and then have the officer walk away. It just kind of feels like they're interacting with the game. This thing doesn't pop up on their HUD and just randomly tell them that you have some dude to go kill or something like that. They actually get their orders from what seems like a real live person. And you can take or leave as many 
of these ideas as you like. The objective here is to branch out the Zeus community because I feel like this is a tool that um, I've at least been waiting for as long as uh, going back to maybe the Duke 3D editor where I felt like this and I felt like there was an achievable level design and an achievable game design thing where I didn't have to spend hours and hours and hours learning something. The, uh, the next thing, I guess the last thing that I wanted to touch on here, uh, if you click on the groups and then click on the empty, you'll see that there's all sorts of ready-made checkpoints, camps, outposts, and roadblocks. One of the things I really like doing, let's just, uh, I'll show you if you take the roadblock under roadblocks, and then you delete the big bunker, because I usually don't find too much of a use for that. You have two kind of uh, concrete barricades here. And what I'll do more often than not, if I want to create a roadblock, is just to drag this stuff and give it enough room here. And then throw some op four in here under the groups menu. Infantry, sentry. And if they don't know that there's bad guys, or in your case, good guys coming, we'll just give them a very simple patrol here. And you'll see I changed their stance to limited and their combat mode to relaxed. And what that does is it just makes them walk around kind of loosey-goosey, and they don't really care. There you go. There's some arma jank for you. They just walk right through the concrete. He's about to do it, too. A pile! How do you like that? <laughs> And you hold down Alt and hit right click and they'll do a little uh, a little circuit back and forth, a little patrol. Now one thing that I really do like to do, and um, I don't do it every time so that hopefully it throws the players off a little bit. If I do have a sentry at the roadblock, and let's say our players are approaching from up in yonder direction. They're coming from up there. That's a whole lot of players, by the way, for a Zeus mission, but let's just say that that's how many there are. One thing I will do from the opposite direction is do like kind of a changing of the guard. So I'll set them to relaxed as well, but I'll set them to move up into that position. So if the players elect to come to the top of this mountain to get a better eye on what's going on with this roadblock or they decide to scout up ahead a little bit, they should see these guys coming. And if they don't, it just uh, it provides that moment of suspense where a lot of times your players are going to see a roadblock and take that roadblock out. They'll just see it and see two guys and know that, hey, we need to take these two guys out to keep moving down the road. But this changing of the guard thing, and excuse the Canadiana in that statement, but having a new sentry come out and have that sentry move out once these guys move in, I've only had it once, but I have had the players stand back just to recon this position a little bit. And I've heard them over team speak saying, oh, we got two guys moving in, and then they'll see that, let's just move these guys along a little bit. So they'll see these guys moving in. And you'll hear them discussing this over TeamSpeak, and the Armageddon is just allowing this guy to fucking wander way off that way. They'll see these guys moving in, and you'll hear them talking about it, and you can hear the suspense building. So once these guys move in, these guys start moving out. And you'll hear them start to say, uh, two guys are moving out, where are they going? They're trying to track them, and they're trying to track these guys. It just, it kind of, it's a little tiny bit of panic. And I guess that's one of the things, I'm no professional DM. I mean, I'm the first one to admit, we have DMs in our group that are way better than me. But what I'm trying to pick up on is creating a mission, or creating a game, creating the atmosphere that allows your players to be scared by a task that's not insurmountable. So they have to be they have to be able to to feel like they can take this on, but in the same sense, they have to be worried about the task so that they don't just march in there and wreck shit. Unless you're trying to do a mission where you just want your players to wreck shit. My name's Prol and I'm from the Devil's Bench. 
and uh, today we just went over some very, very simple layers of immersion where we're just trying to create scenarios and games and moments for our players to play through in the Zeus game mode for Arma 3. Thanks for listening. If you like our Arma 3 tutorials, go ahead and subscribe because we're cranking out more of them.